Hello everybody, this is Sonia. <laughs> um, I thought I'd come back on here now to show you some things I got yesterday when my daughter took me over to Spotlight. Um, I went to Spotlight. Spotlight in Australia is uh, the craft shop I suppose you'd say. You know, the, you know, the best one we've got anyway. And I was just, you know, just so excited to go and, um, because I hadn't been for a long time. Um, they grossly have everything from, uh, all the haberdashery and all the things, you know, but not, nothing like that you can get over in America or, or even, um, in England and that. So, when you were also, <laughs> I'm sure, um, but anyway, so I went and, I had to, I got tired, I got hot, so I didn't get all the things I would have loved, so I just want to go back. <laughs> okay, so um, I got myself these flowers. Most of the things over there were 40% off, so I only, I only bought these, um, this lot, because I have some others that um, I just won anyway, so, and I make a lot, so I've got those, and then I bought myself this um, trim... Like um, Tom wire and it's nice little acrylic bits and it's really really pretty because everything was 40% off I think they only ended up costing me a couple of oh, $2 something each I think I had, did have the docket here but I and brought it in here with me so but anyway so I got those um, and I bought uh, uh, I got my Fiskars cutters look I did they were there the trimmer the trimmer the trimmer is blades, new blades. I got them. Uh, Elaine, thank you. You told me that Spotlight had them, and they did. And I got a packet of two, and they work really good. So I was really, really pleased with them. Uh, I've always liked little um, books and things, and I really like these book boxes. So I got some of those. I think they cost me about $3 each, but I guess that's not too bad when you think about it, you know, $3 each is not too bad. I don't know if they were actually on special, but there, there was a lot of stuff over there that was, so I was pleased about that. Uh, bought myself some paint brushes because I needed them. It's good to get things that you need, and I went over there to get a little iron because in the catalogue they had these little craft irons. And because they didn't, for $10, and because they didn't have the one that was advertised, I got this one for the advertised price. It, this one was $32, but we got it for $10 because they didn't get the others in. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that. He's, he works. He's electric. I had a bit of a go. I had a little ribbon eye in there. It was really cool. <laughs> for doing ribbon, I suppose, and um, bits of ribbon or bits of lace, you know. It didn't get very hot, which is really good, but have to wait a little while for it to heat up, but it was pretty good, and I thought it was a good buy. If I had to pay $32 for it, I don't think I would recommend them, because personally, I think they're a little bit dear for that, you know. Um, they're all right, but it's not a, you know, it's not like your big, the big ones, but I suppose it does the, the job. They're good for um, anybody that wants to just to do little bits and pieces, and I often have something I, you know, might need to straighten out and don't want to get the big iron out. Uh, then I went to the fabric part. I should have, I missed a lot of parts because I got too hot and I was really, you know, got really tired because I hadn't slept very well the night before because my daughter's been sick, but she took us over anyway, even though she wasn't that well. She took me because she knew how bad I wanted to go, but anyhow, um, so I got this really nice lace. Um, I'm glad she did take me then because now the poor little thing, she's worse and she'll be probably getting through it soon, I hope. Anyway, so this piece here cost me five dollars, but to my way of thinking, that wasn't very dear because usually it would be um, a lot dear. I think it was on special for about forty percent off. I don't know really. Um, it says a half a meter. Um, I think it was about fourteen dollars, but anyway, so that's that's a good buy. This one here is beautiful, beautiful print. I love this. So I might be able to just run my little line over that. I hope and just press that out before I use it. You know, without um, getting out the big one. Now, this is actually a stretchy sort of satin, which is really interesting. I mean, you know, that was... was an I didn't realise till I got home, but that'll be fine, because, you know, that'll make me good flowers. I'll make some... I'll do some more sewing flowers and things. 
and um, that's what I wanted this, these ones for, I love, I love these colours, I've got a lot of other colours too as you know, but I don't all necessarily have these sort of things, so I just thought this was absolutely beautiful, this this is a beautiful colour, where's it, now, this was a cashmere, they're called a cashmere satin, <coughs> I think, I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know, it doesn't look like that's what it says, cashmere, Mm, yeah, it could be. Anyway, if anybody else, <laughs> it's a rose colour. Really beautiful. That's going to make some absolutely gorgeous flowers, isn't it? Really nice on a page or something. Um, and this one is beautiful. This is a Georgette one, and this is absolutely beautiful. Just the thing for the flowers, and it'll fray really nice on the edges for me. I hope. The lady said to me she was going to tear it, and I said you can't tear that. I didn't think you could anyway, but I'd rather that she didn't. But anyway, I think she cut it for me then in, in the end. But they were really, really nice. I loved them. They're good buys, as far as I was concerned. With 40% off, that's a, that's a good bargain. Now, I also bought some this here, because I could not leave it there. This was a really good, thick, it's a buckram, you know? says cotton duck it's a cotton duck fabric which I can't say the other bit of but what am I saying back I know what that is what's the matter with you Sonia <laughs> this is a cotton duck French so whatever that is it must be just it could be the looks really good it's um an even weave fabric so and it's pretty pretty open but anyway it isn't that beautiful isn't it absolutely beautiful? So it's got some um, scissors and bits and pieces like that on it. Um, little jaw pictures. And this one. I love this one. These cost me um, about seven and eight dollars each. I think they were. That's half a metre, but I will be able to utilise that and get a lot, you know, a fair few different bits and pieces out of it. You know, put put into things and. You, it's worth worth the money, quite easy worth the money. That wasn't on special those ones. Then I went to the bin. I couldn't help myself because they had one of those bins. What said um, ran, random uh, randomments? <laughs> Sorry, I can't even figure that. Random? 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 So I'm gonna have to turn this off. I don't know what's the matter with me. <laughs> I think I'm okay. <laughs> Where they sell bits of material, they were a dollar each. They were a dollar each, they were. And um, I feel really embarrassed because I couldn't say that probably, but I guess it just, it's really late <laughs> in the night and I probably should be in bed. And <clears throat> I'm tongue tied and I need a drink. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, this is really pretty, hey? And I thought, well, this is good for a dollar. You, I could not leave it there for a dollar. There's a metre there in that one. And this one here is like the same design, only it's a different colour. Just going to give this a bit of a wrinkle there to see if that's going to be... It's a remnant, by the way, the word is. It does wrinkle up a bit. But I suppose if you're using it for craft or something, you know, it's not going to be something that people are going to be, well, if it's make a bag or whatever they could do, but I just don't know what I'll make with it yet. I'll make, it'll make something really nice, really nice anyway. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. And then I bought this one here. And this has got cows and bits and pieces on. But the reason I thought I'd have this was I really liked the, the pattern for some reason. I don't know what that was, but I thought that might could be look good to do a an apron for a barbecue or something something we don't actually participate in around here because we're not very big on that in this house not, not keen on eating outside but a lot of people in Australia are and what aprons or something you know or anything to do with that sort of thing We've, I thought I could be able to make something like that out of it so these are only a dollar for these remnants <laughs> ah dear anyway I could always start it again, but I'm just getting a little bit tired of starting it again. And look at this. There's a dollar. It's another dollar for this. And this is this is a good a bit of material. They're very, it's really um, 
really thick beautiful pictures look at that all them Paris scenes and things on them Paris and bits and pieces and Eiffel Tower and I'm showing it to you upside down sorry about that but I was really wrapped with that that's a dollar for the meter of that which is really good because when you think about it I would have paid if the other wasn't on special about $14 a meter so this cost me a dollar um, and this piece here which I really really like because it's got postcards and bits on it you know all these individual pieces I imagine I could cut out and either glue to or put on to bits of um, whatever it is I'm working with and this is just all over over this it's just really great I, I love this piece um, it's a drill cotton um, really good sort of heavy duty heavyweight thing and it you know it won't bunch, bunch up too bad but it can oh look how much I've got there there's just miles of that there yeah absolutely beautiful I really like this I think this will go really good in you know you could put it onto pages in books that in the um, fabric books that we make or even in the mini books mini albums or anything you know there's there's lots of ideas but they're all a, a dollar a, a thing you know and that's really good isn't it and there is actually there's a metre by um, oh, a fair bit wide 200 wide it is that's yeah metre by 200 centimetres wide so that's really good very nice don't you think I really like that I had a very fun time and there's heaps more over there for me and I need to get back and I just got some pearly things off the Marlman, but I'm, I'm wanting these pearly centers. Uh, these are these ones I don't think I've seen before. These little flowery ones, they're, they're a nice little one with a flower on them. They put on the flowers that I'm doing, and these are just ones that you've seen everybody's bought before. But they only cost me 99 cents each, and I think that's all I bought. Oh, I've got some paint brushes because I never know whether I wash mine quite good enough to put in the next lot of things I don't sort of sometimes I go I'm moving along there too fast and I just don't find that I have the time to to stop and get them cleaned up so I bought myself some paint brushes but now I need to go back because I've got there's so many other things I did buy some stamps and when I come home that was something I wasn't very happy with because well it's a stamp actually but they're um alpha stamps right so that's fine only thing wrong is the part that is actually stamped is the black bit and then you've got the clear in the other part so I'm going to put those I don't want them I really really don't want them so if anybody I paid $10 for these but I really don't want them and I thought I'd take them down the market to sell them but if anybody really would like to give me a dollar and some postage money, I'll send them to them. But it wouldn't be worth sending anywhere out of Australia, I wouldn't imagine. But I don't, I don't know if anybody would really like them because um, I honestly don't because I wanted the actual the print of the letter to come out. But the letter's cut out of it and you, and you get the outline of the letter, if you understand what I mean. <laughs> That's as clear as mud. Anyway, um, so that was a bit of a disappointment, but otherwise I had a really good time and I can see in my mind and I know in my head what I'm going back over there to get and where it's all situated <laughs> the next time I go. Okay, so yeah, I did get the, um, the things that I wanted and I got some material, so I've got the ideas in my head going round and round and round and I need to get started and make some some stuff okay so thank you everybody for watching and i'll talk to you later bye bye